Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use while loops in PHP. A while loop is basically just a programming structure which allows us to loop over a specified block of code while a certain condition is true. Basically, loops allow us to just keep repeating something as long as a certain condition is true. So I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial the basics of working with while loops. We'll kind of look at what they're doing, how they work, the ins and outs of um, what they are. And then we'll also look at a couple of variations on the while loop, specifically something called the do while loop. So this is going to be a pretty fun tutorial. Down here in my little PHP tags, I'm going to actually show you guys a while loop. So before I do that, though, I'm going to create a variable and I'm just going to call this index and I'm going to set it equal to one. So this is a very simple variable. I'm just storing a number inside of it. And then down here, I'm actually going to create a while loop. And you guys will see how that index variable comes into play in a second. If I want to create a while loop, I can just type out while open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. Now, like I said, a while loop is basically a structure which we can use to loop over a certain block of code while a certain condition is true. So there's going to be certain things in PHP that we want to just like continuously do. And a while loop can allow us to do that. There's two parts to the while loop. The first is called the loop condition. And the second part is called the loop body. And the loop condition is a lot like a condition in an if statement. So if you're familiar with an if statement, um, basically the first thing we need to put in an if statement is a condition. And that condition will tell the if statement whether or not we should execute the code in between the curly brackets. It's the same for a while loop. In a while loop, we're going to specify a condition inside of these parentheses. And that condition is going to determine whether or not we should keep executing the code in between the curly brackets. So I'm going to create a very simple condition. I'm just going to say while index is less than or equal to five. So this is basically saying that I'm going to keep looping through this while loop as long as the value stored inside of the index variable is less than or equal to five. And then down here inside of these curly brackets, I can specify some code that I want to be continually executed over as long as this condition is true. So I'm basically just going to print out the value of index. So I'm just going to print out um, index and then I'm also going to print a break statement just so this is a little bit easier to see. All right. And then one more thing underneath this echo statement, I also want to increment the index variable. So I can just say index plus plus. And if you remember, when we say index plus plus, this is the same as saying index is equal to index plus one. So I'm essentially just incrementing this variable by one. So every time we go through this while loop, this index variable is going to get incremented. So the first time we go through the loop, it'll be equal to one. And the second time it'll be equal to two, et cetera. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. I'm going to come over here and refresh my page. And you'll see we're actually printing out one, two, three, four, five. So maybe this is what you expected. Maybe it's not what you expected. But let me go ahead and explain why this is happening. So over here, I create this variable called index, right? And it's basically just a simple variable it's storing the value one. And now I create my while loop. So remember, there's two parts to the while loop. We have the loop condition up here. And this basically determines whether or not we should keep looping through the loop. And then down here we have the loop body. Whenever we're using a while loop, the first thing that PHP is going to do is it's going to check this condition. So before PHP does anything else, before it executes any of this code, it's going to check this condition. So it's going to check to see if index is less than or equal to five. If index is less than or equal to five, then we're going to go through and we're going to execute all of the code in this loop body. So over here, we start with index equal to one. So the first time we go through the loop, index is equal to one. So we're going to be able to pass this condition. This condition is going to be true. And then we're going to print out one. So you can see over here, we're printing out one. Then we're going to increment the index variable. So now the index variable is going to be equal to two. Once we've executed all the code inside of this loop body, we're going to jump all the way back up and we're going to check this condition again. So before we can execute the code inside of the loop body, we have to check the condition. So on every single iteration of the loop, we're going to check that condition first. If the condition is true, we're going to execute the loop body. Otherwise, we're going to break out of the loop and we'll be done. So the second time we're going to print out two. The third time through the loop, we're going to print out three, four, and then five. Because every time I go through the loop, 
I'm continuously incrementing the index variable. Eventually, we're gonna to get to a point where index is equal to five. We're gonna come down here, we're gonna print five out, and then five is gonna get incremented up to six, and then we're gonna come up here and check the condition, and six is not less than or equal to five, so then we're gonna break out of the while loop and we'll be done. And that's the basics of how this while loop works. We define a looping condition. As long as that condition's true, we're gonna go through and execute the code inside of here. So it's actually very simple when you think about it. And while loops are extremely powerful and there's a lot of stuff that we can do with them. Now I do wanna point one thing out and this is kind of like a warning. Um, sometimes you'll run into a situation which is referred to as an infinite loop. And an infinite loop is a situation where the condition up here inside of these parentheses is never gonna be false. So sometimes like you'll run into a situation where you forget to increment something or you forget to change a specific value um, or a value just never changes. And this condition up here just stays true forever. Basically what that means is your loop is just gonna keep looping infinitely. And we call that an infinite loop. So let me demonstrate, if I was to get rid of this um, line of code right here where it says index plus plus right i'm actually incrementing the index variable there if i got rid of that then index is always going to be one right it's never getting modified so this condition up here is always going to be true because index is always going to be equal to one so now if i came over here in my browser and i click the refresh button you'll notice that it's just a bunch of ones down here and you can see over here like i could scroll down infinitely and it's just going to keep being ones Basically what happened is my program is running and it's just continually printing out ones onto the HTML document. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and terminate this. So I clicked that little X up here. You don't wanna let a loop like this run because it could slow down your computer significantly. But I just kinda wanted to demonstrate how something like that could mess up your program. So I'm gonna add this back in and now we'll go back to the normal program. Um, infinite loops happen to everybody and as you you know start learning more about while loops I'm sure they'll happen to you um, but it's just something to be aware of where if something's not working correctly it might be because an infinite loop is occurring so a while loop is very simple and you know we kind of looked at how they work I want to talk to you guys about one other type of loop though and it's actually similar to a while loop and it's called a do while loop. So in order to illustrate what the do while loop does, I'm actually gonna show you guys a little um, example. We're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna set index up here equal to six. So index initially has a value of six. Now remember, whenever we're using this while loop, the first thing that we do is check the loop condition. So before I go through and I execute all of this code, I always check this condition first. And that is extremely important that we do that. If I set index equal to six, well, we're never gonna be able to execute the code down here because it's not gonna pass this condition. So the first thing it's gonna do is check to see if index is less than or equal to five, which it's not. So we're not gonna end up executing any of this code. So if I was to run my program now, you'll see that we're not printing anything out, right? That's because we never ran this echo command, so we never printed out the value of index. There's actually another type of loop though, which I wanna show you called a do while loop. So I'm actually just gonna take this line right here and I'm gonna paste it down here below. So I'm pasting it right after this um, closing curly bracket. And then I always wanna make sure that I put a semicolon there on the end. And then up here in front of this opening curly bracket, I'm gonna say do. And essentially what we have here is a do while loop. And a do while loop is exactly the same as a while loop, except the order is reversed. So instead of checking the condition first and then executing the loop body, we're gonna execute the loop body first and then check the condition. So there's certain circumstances where you're not gonna to wanna to check the condition first, you're gonna to wanna to do something first and then check the condition, and that's where do while loops can come in handy. So even though I have index equal to six up here and it's technically not gonna pass this condition, what you'll see is we're still gonna be able to print it out down here. And that's because in a do while loop, we're executing the code inside of the loop body before we check the condition. So now when I run my program, you'll see I'm able to print out six. So all of this code gets executed, then we check the condition to see if we can execute it again. And since six is greater than five, we just break out of the loop. And so that's sort of the difference between while loops and do while loops. With a while loop, we always check that condition first and then execute the loop body. In a do while loop, we execute the loop body first and then check the condition. 
I think probably for the most part, you're going to be encountering while loops a lot more than you will do while loops. Um, do while loops are more in a specific circumstance, but you will find do while loops out there in the world. So if you see them now, you'll know the difference. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.